Yo guys, welcome back to your brand new PDCGO Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a Slow King VMAX Amistar deck. This is a deck that I have gotten a lot of requests to do over the time of Chilling Rain's release, and I'm finally going to get down to making a video on this deck. So the idea is we are going to item lock them with Amistar with its ability. As long as you have fewer Pokemon to play than your opponent, they cannot play any items from their hand. So ideally, we just have a Slow King and an Amistar in play. Our opponent maybe has three or four Pokemon in play. We can manipulate that with Echoing Horn to force Pokemon into play to make it easier to item lock them. And then we just use Max Toxify, which does 10 damage, and then poisons them and puts 12 damage counters on them in between turns. We have Single Strike Energy to increase our damage. We also have World of Ruin as an option. Item lock World of Ruin makes it hard for the opponent to move out of the active. We force them to have a Switch or a Retreat play. And if they don't have that, World of Ruin will KO them. And that's kind of the idea of this deck. It's more of a Poison build over the World of Ruin build, which we could play with like Gallermine, but this is more of a Max Toxify poison build um so yeah before we get the video of course show to the sponsor card cavern tcg as always guys if you're ever looking to get any pdcgo pack codes make sure to get them over at card cavern card cavern of course sells pdcgo codes online for the cheapest so if you guys are looking to pick up any set codes still like chilling rain codes battle styles codes sword and shield base set codes rebel clash codes sun and moon codes whatever pdcgo codes you're looking for get them all over at card cavern also card cavern will be selling evolving skies codes when they release they should be coming out next thursday on pdcgo because they come out the day earlier so if you guys are going to get evolving skies codes get them all over at card cabin and if you get any codes at card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order it helps the channel help yourself out and up our card cabin so shout out to card cabin guys check them out use code ldf if you get any codes also check out the video articles i've been posting too i just posted a brand new video article on a uh evolution vmax deck also before i get the video also i got a quick mention i do now have a discord you guys want to join the discord make sure to join it it is just it was just made a few like a day or two ago so make sure to join the discord link down below so this is the list i got for my slow king vmax deck um we are playing the path of peak over the galarmine to slow the opponent down um this could be really good i feel like now galarmine is still a decent option too but galarmine amistar is kind of awkward because the deck plays the malalana to heal and you can go malalana into amistar with an air balloon on so I'm not really a big fan of the Gallarmine in the deck. I think Path is better, but you want to play Gallarmine or two, you can maybe find room to add it. Um, but the whole idea is just Max Toxify. But again, we have that option to go World of Ruin. I am playing a Memory Capsule. We can use this on our Sloking V Max to copy World of Ruin on Sloking V. Of course, World of Ruin at the end of your opponent's next turn, that if any Pokemon is knocked out, which is pretty powerful. Um, and when they're item locked, they can't play Switch. So they have to hard to treat out of it, but that's just burning their energy. Now, the nice thing about this deck is we have access to Concoction, discard a card from your hand, draw three cards. It's a nice way to set up. If we get a bit of a rough start, we can always do Concoction to try to draw more cards and get us into a bit better of a hand, which is kind of cool. That's it for Pokemon. Just four Slow King and two Amistar. We might just take an L to Urshifu VMAX. I don't play weakness card energy in the deck, so Urshifu will give us some troubles, but that deck is hard to beat. They have a lot of outs. They have Tower of Water, Air Balloon, a bunch of switching cards. That matchup is already really hard. Urshifu is definitely your worst matchup for this deck. It's just hard to beat. Even if we were to play Weakness Guard Energy, again, they have so many outs to our deck. It's hard to beat them. Um, three Echoing Horn puts Pokemon in play for Amistar. Two Gear, three Evo Incense, two Quick Balls, one Stamp. Another Stamp wouldn't be bad either. We got two Candies for Amistar. Four Greens to set up your Amistar. Of course, you can go Greens for Rare Candy Evo Incense. Two Caitlyn Cynthia, a Guzma Holland, because we do play Path and Single Strike Energy. Two Malolanas. Three research, three boss. Boss trapping stuff is really good in this deck. Trust me, you'll see. We got two balloons for the Amistar to get free retreat, especially when we want to Malalana the uh, Slow King. We can go into the Amistar, which has a two retreat with the balloon on. Then we got Big Charm in the deck, so Slow King gets more HP. A memory capsule to copy World of Ruin. Four single strike energy and four basic dark energy to round out the list, plus the energy spinner, so it turns green into a searchable energy card. That's the list. We'll try it out. Maybe get a dub or two of the deck. I'm excited to try it out. It's a pretty fun deck to play in my testing. It was kind of cool. So I'm excited to hopefully get some wins. All right, into another match. We've potentially playing against ADP. Now, we are going second, which is not terrible because we do get Concoction. But playing against ADP, they're going to alter creation me. And then it's like, well, fun times are ahead of us. I don't know. Maybe going maybe going first is better in this matchup to go path the peak turn one. We are mulliganing a bunch of times, though, which is not good. I mean, we'll see if we can beat ADP. It's not easy, but it's not impossible either, I guess. Mulligans do kind of suck, though. Let's see if we get a basic here. There we go. I don't know how many times we mulliganed. I guess we're going to find out. Not a bad hand, though. Research. I mean, we had the turn two slow king. But we're not going first. So that doesn't help our... Yeah. We mulliganed a few times. It's not bad, I guess. Honestly, we might just have to research this hand away to get path the peak. 
I think we want it. We have to get a path down right away, I think. So we're probably going to have to just research the hand away. Um, seems likely that's going to have to be the play. We can go like... Oh, they do nothing. Ooh. We can go stamp. I think we do research here. Even though like we want to keep the slow king... I think we do research, right? We still have two other slow kings. Let's we like get super unlucky and prize them all. Yeah, we need to find a path. There's the path. We can concoction here away the single strike energy, I guess. And just hope they don't play anything silly like crushing hammer. All right. No supporter off of that. That's fine, though. It's not fine because we could get almost in place. So that sucks. But we got the path to peak and play, which is the important thing. Then they might play chaotic swell. Will they find it, though? Will they find it? They got a Marnie. It's a little annoying. But, I mean, again, our hand was, like, uh, other than having the Slow King, our hand wasn't really that good anyways. Um, and, well, we are... Man, we're not even be able to attack him, though. There's a lot of energy going to the bottom of the deck. No, all right. Marnie into a pretty decent hand. There's Zacian. Do they have a Chaotic Swell? Did they draw a Chaotic Swell Zacian ADP off of a Marnie to 5? Now would be very lucky if they did. But did my opponent draw? They did not. We can kill the Jirachi here, which I think is good. Ooh, we could also go Omastar. Uh, we could go Concoction Amistar, which is not terrible either. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do it. We could just go Concoction Amistar. We could also World of Ruin. But I kind of like this play a little bit more. And we can Caitlyn Cynthia back research. I might go World of Ruin. We could also get Sulking off of this, which we don't. All right. So we just go Concoction. Honestly, yeah, it's not bad. No, I don't, oh, what do I get rid of, though? I kind of... Every card in our hand is good, because next turn, I can go boss ADP, World of Ruin it. I might just World of Ruin the Jirachi, to be honest. No, I, I'd rather him keep Pokemon in play, so item lock is available. Maybe we just pull Balloon and pass. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything with my hand here, because I don't want to get rid of any cards. Next turn, I'm actually going to go attach boss ADP. I'm going to try to knock it out World of Ruin if I can. They can't play any items right now. They can't scoop up net either, so they can't try to free up bench space for the Amistar. They could boss it, but I put the balloon on it, so that's good. They can't play the quick ball. So yeah, this is fine. We can just roll to ruin them. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah, no rush. We don't need to go max toxify. Yeah, they just pass. All right, we'll just boss ADP. Let's see if we draw. Maulana. All right, so boss out the ADP. Roll to ruin. And because they got no energy down, they aren't going to be able to do Alter Creation this turn. So we should be able to get an easy KO here. And then from there, we just kind of play the game. Okay, they did get the counter stadium, which means now they can play abilities, but they still can't play items, which is also just important. They just intrepid sword. How much energy do you think they'll hit? None. Beautiful. We will put the path right back into play. Let's see our prizes. Boss is pretty good, actually. Echoing horn is good. We can act. Oh, you know what we could do? Yo, oh, we got the slow king too. Yo, we have so many out. We have so many options here. We might as well just go echoing horn. Put the ADP back into play. Uh, put the path back into play. I could have played Viridian Quick Ball. I don't think that's necessary. We can boss the ADP. Yo, this is going to be the most hilarious win ever. We can roll to ruin them twice. We might just win. They are still item locked. Unless they have Malolana, they are not going to move the ADP. We might just win with a back-to-back -back World of Ruin on an ADP. This is the... Let's go! We did it! <laughs> Bro, I thought this matchup was going to be a little tough, but... Once we item lock, a World of Ruin just does them in. There we go. You love to see it. It's always good to beat ADP, and we get 60 coins. That's pretty good. We got a daily Evo done. All right, nice. You love to see it. We, you, you love it. All right, here we go. Let's try out this deck again. We've won the coin flip. All right, now we can go second or first. I'm actually going to go first. Maybe get an energy down and go with a turn two max Toxify. We are up against a Decidueye deck, it looks like, judging from the coin so Decidueye definitely is not a great matchup for a deck like this but we do have world of ruin and even max hawks five they don't play big paracel max hawks five just destroys them all right we did mo oh rip we didn't even get an energy either which is also pretty annoying great they got a nice big five card hand you'll love to see it and they're playing Decidueye, so they're guaranteed to turn to Decidueye pretty much oh no they're playing rillaboom i was wrong this hand is still pretty terrible. Do we want to even put the path in play? It's not. I don't think we have to play path. No energy really sucks. I really wish we had energy here. 
Yeah, we'll play... We'll play the path. No. What is pass? Like, there's nothing to do with my hand, so... Can't do much. What is greens next turn for fossil with energy spinner? Probably have to attach to the bench, to be honest. I don't think we can attach the active. They most likely... Well, we could actually... We could reset stamp them. They most likely have the turn to Rillaboom here. Their hand is so big, there is no way they do not have a rare candy Rillaboom in that hand. Ooh, they play Bird Keeper. That's really annoying, actually. That can body my own Slow King. However, that is one less Bird Keeper we have to deal with. Ooh, they just passed. Nice. Well, didn't need that. All right, well, greens for Spinner. Fossil. I don't know. Getting Reset Stamp probably was good, too. But they, they this thing's kind of stuck for now. I, this is fine. Let's just do this. I don't think Slow King dies anyways. So let's go bench this. Concoction away the quick ball and see what we get here. Hmm. Not much. Uh, we can green so for rare candy. F oh, we didn't get energy off that. We still can't attack with max Toxify. Probably have to build up the bench guy to be honest. We can get the Amistar in play but we aren't going to item lock them which is the only problem. Yeah, they got the Rillaboom VMAX down. We need to get Big Charm on Slow King VMAX. They can't two-shot me. This might be tough because they play Bird Keeper. The Bird Keeper is not ideal for us, for sure. Bit of a bit of a shakier start this time. We just can't really draw what we're looking for exactly, like the energy and stuff. Um, we might have to try to World of Ruin this, though, to be honest. Okay, looks like they're going to bench more Pokemon. Yep, all right, there we go. We can item lock them. It could Bird Keeper my Fossil next turn and KO with Rowlet, which would be very rude. So we're going to have to mention their Fossil. But we can item lock them here, which is good. We can go for the item lock. Best top deck, I think, is literally just an energy. I think literally an energy is our best top deck here. I might just Concoction again. I mean, this thing's stuck. We might as well keep doing Concoction. That's not an energy at all. So greens. A rare candy. And... Or can't Evil Winsense? Just get more Slow Kings? I don't know. I think we want to build up the bench guy, right? I do want to make sure we item lock them. Because now they can't play Rare Candy Rillaboom, right? So this is good. It does suck we didn't have an energy, but this is fine because we can item lock them. We can go... I mean, they could KO this potentially with... No, not even that. All right, let's just play the path. They probably have Turf Field, so let's get that out of here. Um... And I guess Concoction. Get rid of the Quick Ball, yeah? See what we get here. There we go. We got some energy. Now we can go... We can try to Poke Gear and actually thin and find Boss's Order. And then I can Boss the Rillaboom. And I can actually World of Ruin it. Or I can Max Toxify. They're probably getting energy down on it. So I think I want to Max Toxify it. If I can. We could also bring in the Delmize, which is a pretty thick Pokemon. We could knock out the Rowlet before a Decidueye comes down. But we can Poison the Decidueye. I'm not really scared of Decidueye. We can KO with World of Ruin or Poison. So, this is why I don't really care about too much. Okay, they waste a Bird Keeper. That's actually fine. I don't mind that at all. That's one less Bird Keeper they have now for their Poison. What are they going to Wind Shard, though? They actually have an Amistar. That doesn't really do much because Amistar does have 130 HP. I guess they maybe just set up for Delmines. I guess. I don't know. Let's treat, see if we can boss here. That's the play. Got a boss KO them. Grab these two. Can't thin much more. Here we go. Boss's order? No. Not going to grab that. We could get Marnie. That could go to the bottom of the deck. Do we just KO them here with Slow King VMAX? Play a Fossil down. We could just World of Ruin this. I think that's fine, actually. Yeah, let's just go World of Ruin. Don't really need to play aggressive, I don't think. Yeah, so we can just kind of World of Ruin here. I maybe should have grabbed Caitlyn Cynthia off Tag Call, actually. I don't want to put a green back in my hands, but I probably should have. Yeah, I probably could have gone Caitlyn Cynthia off of the Tag Call there. Because if I do with the boss, I could have played the Caitlyn Cynthia instead. We'll just World of Ruin the... Well, we don't want to go Slow King. We go Slow King Knockout. They just go hit me with Max Beating. And I'm Mal Lana, and then it's like... doesn't really matter. I think we do just World of Ruin the Rowlet. Make them have a switching card. They have played two Bird Keepers. Plus, their hand is pretty big. But we'll see. And then in the meantime, we can build up the other Slow King. Which is kind of the play. Now, is this damage from attack? Damage, I'm an attack. So yeah, Anchor Anchor actually doesn't work next turn. There's a Marnie. Okay, this is why I didn't grab the research off the Poke Gear because now we do lose our hand. They are still item locked though. Plus, all right, that's a, well, not a great hand actually. We can't play greens. Never mind. This hand's not good. We might have the Concoction again. 
Yeah, that's why I kept the support at the bottom of the deck, because I knew we weren't going to draw it. Ooh, they get the Dartrix off the Marnie, though. I mean, that's fine. They aren't going to attack me. We could still keep doing... Well, let's see if we draw Path. Research, perfect. All right, I think now we do just KO them. We kind of have to. Shuffle the deck. We have to KO them now, I think. Okay. They won't be item locked after this, so I think we have to get rid of the fossil. We didn't get a Malon up then. Well, Max Toxify. We have to KO them. They're going to have the... They, I mean, they might not have an energy. Now, they don't die from damage from attacks. They actually still can't use Anchor Anchor here, which is pretty cool. Rare Candy. Oh, the one time I get rid of the fossil. But we have to, because they aren't going to be item locked if we don't get rid of the fossil. But next turn, we can Echoing Horn the Rowlet back into play. Yeah, they have the energy. Um, We don't have Memory Capsule currently. There's Rillaboom. They can't play Rare Candy, though. They could have boss in hand. Knock out my Amistar. All right, max BB. Hmm. I don't have a counterplay to this. We have to Malolana, actually, right? It has to be Malolana. But we don't get Malolana. That was our only counterplay was to get Malolana. We're going to have to just Caitlyn Cynthia here. Away a boss. That's fine. Has to be research, I think. Well, yeah, research. Okay. All right. We can just World of Ruin them and hope they don't have a uh, Bird Keeper in their hand. That's going to have to be the play. I can't think of anything else. We can stamp them to three next turn if they do switch out of this. So that's going to have to be the play here is World of Ruin and hope they don't move the Rillaboom. They're still item locked. They have a five card hand. We know one of them is a Rillaboom. They're down two Bird Keepers. Even if they Bird Keeper, what are they going to go into? I guess they can go Rowlet, hit my uh, Amistar again. But then we just reboss the Rillaboom back up and World of Rune it again. So that'll be the play if that does happen. But they could also have Energy Bird Keeper in hand. If they just have Energy Bird Keeper, they can kill me with Scratch. That's why we needed to get either Big Charm or the Malon off so we can heal this thing and put it out of range against Scratched. But we do knock them out. All right. That's huge. Now we might win the game because they do KO me, but now we get to stamp the three... They get KO'd thanks to World of Ruin. This is really, really good. All right, this is perfect. We get our three prizes. We get Amistar, which is good. Green's not good. Evil Wind Sense, not bad. All right. That was a really good turn. Now we can boss out the Delmise. First, okay, hold on. Let me just make sure I'm sequencing this right. So we go attach. We have 220 HP. They can't come with Giga Hammer. They could come with Delmise VMAX, though. Ah, uh, crud. That's fine, though, because I was still going to win the game, right? We can go Evolve Slow King. We can go Stamp to 3. No Path of Peak sucks, because they can still get down my VMAX knock out my Slow King, so I have to Evolve. Um, let's burn this. But what, what, we, what we do here is we still win, right? We can go... Uh, we can go Knockout. Right? We knock him out. Then what happens is they go down my VMAX, they hit me for 240, and then we just boss out Rookie or Rowlet and win the game. And they're still item locked, so they still can't play items. Plus, we just stamp them the, the three cards. That's good. I think we're going to win this. We'll see, though. That World of Ruin Kale on the Real Boom was absolutely huge. There's a Brock Grit. That doesn't really do much for my opponent outside of maybe dodging an Echoing Horn, which we still have a few left in the deck, yeah. This should just be game then, right? They hit me with Delmise. They can they can't even anchor anger me because of the uh the poison damage. I'm pretty sure they can't win. Slow King is weak to fighting and not grass. Yeah, they have an energy. Okay. So yeah, they could have went Delmise VMAX here. So we had to go max we had to go evolve. But we will win the game here unless they they have to like crushing hammer me or something, which they can't even do because they're item locks. Like they have to like they have to just give me a, a different hand. Uh, we still have boss, right? Yep, that's game. We've won. Pretty close match, actually. A bit closer than I would have liked it to be, but we are just going to boss the Rillabo or the Grookey, knock it out with Max Toxify, and take the dub against a Grass Box deck. The big thing was we were able to item lock them out of playing Rillaboom with Rare Candy. We will take it, though. And we get a tournament ticket. All right. All right, into another match. We are up against potentially a Water deck, which could be interesting. If it's Inteleon, we don't play Mew. Um... All right, we are mulliganing, which is fine. We can take advantage of that and maybe get a better hand. We'll see. We'll see what we're looking at here. 
All right, Slow King. We only mulligan once, which is pretty good. Now, not a great hand. Yeah, it looks like it could even be Ice Rider. Could be kind of tough. Yeah, not a not the greatest not the greatest hand. We have Sinlin though to fall back on. We have Concoction. But if we're playing against Ice Rider, they're going first. We actually just lose our Slow King. So we're probably just going to lose in two turns, which is just nice. Uh, maybe they get a bad start. Eh, Sobble. They don't get an Ice Rider and an energy on it. Maybe we can survive a turn. That's our only chance. Okay, nice. We'll just see another day. Nice. That was a good top deck. So we can go Greens Exploration for... It's always, I think it's always Fossil Greens, right? We bench the Fossil. We Concoction here away. Probably the Echoing Horn. It's the only card I can think of. And then we just draw three cards. We get Path. I want to put my Path in play first so they don't have a uh they can't play their stadium that could clunk their deck up quite a bit which is kind of decent if they do keep calling too this plays into our item lock but there's a drizzle we might get marnie here which is the only problem that's one thing i was kind of worried about is they could just hit me with a marnie and then put all of the cards in my hand to the bottom of my deck not shuffled no to the bottom which would suck but that's why we got research in the deck to fall back on it's a good research is a good counter to marnie in this deck so maybe we get research they might not get marnie though but they aren't going to keep calling which is interesting um, no, quick ball. So probably get Ice Rider, but if they do, we go, we can max Toxify it, which I'll probably end up doing. But they evolve out of it, though. Match is just so weird, because they just, like, two-shot me. It's like, nothing I can really do about that. But maybe it's Inteleon VMAX. I'd probably prefer Inteleon over Shadow Rider, or Ice Rider, right? If I want to prefer any water deck, it'd probably be Shadow, or be, uh, Inteleon, but it's most likely Ice Rider, right? It's looking like it's an Ice Rider deck. There's a quick ball. Gonna get rid of the water. They are gonna get the Ice Rider here. Yeah. We might as well just kill the Drizzile. Ah, uh, they bossed my fossil. It's annoying. No, <laughs> we drew the Amistar too. Check. I mean, we can't really play it, so it's not that bad, but... I have to ditch the fossil. That kind of sucks. We're gonna play greens again, obviously, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother going for the boss here. They're just gonna evolve out of it. We have to get a quick ball. Probably another greens to be honest we need to make sure we have a response make sure we have another slow king which we could grab here yeah let's get rid of boss grab another slow king i mean they could boss kill my slow king obviously but i think we have to grab it and they'll just max toxify so we gotta make sure we build it up next turn we'll kill the drizzle now they don't have inteleon so maybe they don't have the ice rider they probably have the ice rider v max in their hand though already most likely in there i could have quick ball could have gone fossil then because we did draw a quick ball I can't do much. They just do too much damage with max lands. And then they Marnie me. Rip. Yeah, there goes her hand. This could be the time to get research. Now, they could whip a water. If they whip water here, this is actually huge. This is a huge turn if they whip water. Oh, we got a dead hand. Uh-oh. We got Rare Kenny Amistar, but not looking good. If they do whip a water, though, we might have a shot of making this work. However, they did Marnie me into nothing very good. No research. No tag call. But they did whiff. But we're still dead drawing. Not good. I'm going to evolve that in case they kill me. We can poison them. This is not bad. All right. Now we might have a better chance. And I don't think Ice Rider plays many switching cards, which is good. They could Drizzile and Balloon, obviously. And they won't die going into my opponent's turn. However, this is fine. They can finally attack me. Whipping the energy on this is bad. We need to get energy at some point. That does suck that we got martyred into a bad hand. It was bound to happen eventually, though. This That's the problem with green stacks. They're just so weak to Marnie. It's just not fair for the green stacks, but we'll see. They will. We are going to be able to KO them, though. They will go down to go into my turn. Ugh, I got another Ice Rider, though. I was hoping maybe they didn't get another Ice Rider, but... Nope, the game's like, here you go. Just have it. Draw three cards. Here you go. Take it. But they are going to die to poison. Or, yeah, they'll die to poison going back into their turn, which is... I'd rather it be my turn, but that's... You can't win them all. If there's a tag team Pokemon, they would have gone and died back into my turn, which is pretty exciting. That's one of the nice things about the Slow King. They would have... It was a tag team, right? They go... I buy into my turn. They're going to probably hit me for 250. And Malolana, once again, is not very effective in that scenario. It doesn't matter. This will fall, though. There we go. We got a research. That's all we needed. And that's why you got the research in the deck. We got the energy, too, which is good. Um, now it's just down to can we take out one last Ice Rider? It's going to be a bit of a back and forth game. We have 70 HP, so... They have to max lance me again. 
Do we ever want to big charm this? Yeah, I guess I can get chipped away with Inteleon. Probably just want to protect that if we can. They could... They're probably going to stam me. I want to keep the spinner, but I'm going to burn it. Even though they will probably stam me here, I want to make sure we just burn them. I'm not going to grab the energy. They could Marnie me again. Because they could stam me here, right? So... We'll just hit them. Knock them out. Now it's just, can we knock out this last Ice Rider and win the game? That's pretty much the game plan. Is can we kill this last Ice Rider? None of those prizes are very good. Yeah, none of those prizes are playable. This makes our reset stamp kind of terrifying. This is why I was like, we should maybe put um, Memory Capsule on the Slow King VMAX so we can play World of Ruin. Which isn't terrible, to be honest, right? World of Ruin is pretty strong. But they can always go like Balloon Switch. They can Retreat Balloon Scoop Up Net, right? So it's not a good idea because they'll just, they'll just Scoop Up Net as a way to go back into the Ice Rider. Now we gotta hope they don't have another VMAX. They probably do though. They haven't, they've barely played any of their Pokemon Search. They somehow don't have a VMAX here. Like if they actually don't KO me, I think we're in a really good spot. I think we'll be able to win if they don't KO me here. Not having Amistar is good though, I guess. Because it does leave greens as an option if we do get Marty. But they actually concede the match. We won it? That's pretty good. I'll take it. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me today on the Slow King deck. We showed off the deck pretty well against... We beat an ADP deck, which immediately warrants the video right there. Every time you beat an ADP deck with, with a rogue deck, bro, slap it in the video. We actually get to finish the ladder while we're at it. We get a team at Yalgrun Full Art. Not very good, but it is what it is. Next ladder will be back. Uh, we'll open up a few Chilling Rain Packs. I have some spares. I won a few from a, a tournament I played in. Um, so we'll just open up. A few packs here. But I'm going to end up the video with the Slow King deck with those matches. It's pretty good games, I think. Showed off the power of the deck pretty well. We get a Zip Strike. We'll open up two packs. And then we'll kind of end things off here. But what do you think we'll get in these last two packs? I don't know. Double rare? Nothing. We got a Porygon Z. Not very good. Yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Slow King Amistar deck. It's a pretty cool deck. Again, you're probably going to take an L to Urshifu. But not much you can do about it. We discard, I don't think, will make a difference. Because... Against Urshifu, your opponent has so many ways to get out of the Max Toxify World of Ruin lock. So, Weakness Guard, in my opinion, you just take the Elder Urshifu. That's about it. But anyways, this deck is a lot of fun to play. I like the Path of Peak. We beat an ADP deck, thanks to Path. We beat a, a Grass Box deck. And we took down Ice Rider, which is pretty good. Anyways, that'll be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's PCGO video. Help me on the road to reaching 90k subscribers. If you have not subscribed already, help me on the road to reaching 90,000 subs. I want to thank you guys for all the growth and support on the channel over the past few weeks. It has been awesome to see before Evolving Skies releases. And uh, yeah, check out my Discord down below. I did get the Discord, so make sure to join my Discord and uh, help fill that boy up. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out Car Cabin. Use Crawl DF. Bye-bye.